So when you go vegan, super people might ask you some questions. So I've got a question about uh, some some uh, someone says I've just gone vegan a few weeks ago. So far, love the lifestyles, but concerned about potential deficiencies. Could you do a video on the little one knowns like? What about creatine? I study at university and what about creatine? So creatine, the body produces that naturally. You get people go, oh, I'm bodybuilding, mate. I'm on a steroid zone. I'm like, I'm a natural athlete. I'm full natty bra. I'm not. St- I look like I'm a steroid. I look like a balloon toy, but I'm just full natty bra. And they'll say, but oh yeah, I'll go vegan, but you don't get enough creatine. But they fucking take creatine. They buy creatine in fucking two kilo fucking tubs, man. I couldn't go vegan because I get not enough creatine. So I buy eight meat and I buy two kilos of creatine a month. Body produces creatine. Every motherfucker in the gym's on creatine. So anyone says, oh, we don't get enough creatine. It's just like, oh, it's just a fucking... That means they're just a fucking muscle head dumb cunts. Doesn't know shit about nutrition. Doesn't make them bad people. They're just fucking dumb. Um, what about carnosine, bro? You get carnosine? Vegan? Oh, what about carnosine? Carnosine, the body produces it. Again, very popular bodybuilding supplements. So you get the, the redneck meat you to do. I can't be vegan because I won't get enough carnosine. So I eat meat and I also take carnosine. Dumb fuck. I don't know about omega three, mate. Omega three is pretty important. Omega three? Oh, I can't be. I can't be vegan because I wouldn't get enough omega three. So I eat fish and I take fish oil supplements. Omega three is found in every single plant food. All right, it's found in every single whole plant food, I should say. So if you've got a whole banana, a whole lettuce leaf, rice even, that contains omega-3. But it's more important to eat raw, fresh fruits and vegetables because once you cook omega-3, the long chain fatty acids get broken up by heat very easily. So stick with fruits and vegetables when it comes to omega-3. Next one we have... Yeah, we'll run about your taurine. Where do you get your taurine from? Taurine. Another thing the body produces naturally, and it's found in some plant foods. So this, again, a very popular supplement in Red Bull. You know, just these these fucking things people come up with that the body produces, or they're found in plant foods anyway. You know, it's like saying to me, well, "Where do you get your money from? Get it from the fucking ATM." Oh, but you go to the ATM, but like ATM doesn't have money. I'll go to the ATM and the bank, and I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. And sulfur, you're gonna get the sulfur in. Plants don't have sulfur, mate. And we have sulfur found in plant foods. It there's not a single just in case you got any doubt. There's not a single motherfucking nutrient out there that the body can't make or obtain from plants that we need for survival. There's not a single, let me say it again, there's not a single nutrient that humans need for life to thrive that the body can't produce naturally or and or isn't found in whole plant foods. Because what about B12? No, if it's B12, B12 is produced by the human body, right? But so if you supplement it, because I'm an athlete and I live a high stress lifestyle, lots of pollution, and here's the thing, if B12 was a fucking vegan issue exclusively, we wouldn't see motherfuckers shooting up B12 in the gym. Every motherfucking steroid bodybuilder guy I know, or girl, is popping B12 tabs. And maybe 2% of them, are those athletes, are fucking vegan. I can't call them athletes, they just fucking pump up dudes in the mirror. And yeah, they're mirror athletes, but they're on steroids, they're taking creatine, they're taking fish oil, they're taking B12 shots, and they're the first people to say, oh, but if you're vegan, you won't, you won't get enough nutrients. But they're spending thousands of dollars a year on supplements. The average bodybuilder dude in the gym spends thousands of dollars a year on supplements. <laughs> like the average vegan doesn't spend thousands of dollars a year on supplements, man. I spend maybe 20 bucks a year on a few B12 shots to give myself. And that's not because of my diet, that's because I'm a cyclist and I like to have high hemoglobin levels. So simple as that, regardless of your diet, I would recommend, in my opinion, B12 shots. That's just regardless of anyone's diet. Any more questions, let us know down below. You're gonna get fucking, you're gonna change your diet from the status quo, you're gonna get status quo, social disapproval, and situational inconvenience. Oh, what about protein? What are you eating protein from? I eat meat, and I fucking take whey protein. Fucking idiots.